quite frankly, I believe that it is uh, is just the right time. TUSD superintendent makes a big announcement today. It's time for someone else to take over. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. Guy actually has the night off. Listen up, parents. The Tucson Unified School District drops a big announcement today. The superintendent, Dr. John Pettacone, is stepping down. He says no one forced him to quit. It's just time for someone else to take over the job. Not on your side's Craig Smith is live at McGee Middle School with tonight's Education Watch. Craig, I know you were there when TUSD announced this news. Why was it on such short notice? Well, you know, he wanted the district workers to hear the news from him first. He had originally scheduled a news conference for Thursday, but when news of his resignation started leaking out, started circulating, he set that news conference on short notice for today. Now, board members say they were not pushing, it, pushing him out. Uh, Dr. Petticone simply says he felt it was an appropriate time for him to go. Dr. Pettacone says he always planned to stay two or three years, address a lot of the district's problems, then let the board pick a leader for the long term. Doctor, it's, it's, it's hard to argue that that job is not a hot seat. What would have to change for the superintendent to end up staying more than two or three years at a time? Dr. Pettacone said one thing that would help is an end to a culture that he thinks enjoys watching the district struggle. We've got to do the work and do it right. And I think you found over the past couple of years, we've, we've really tried to do that. But when that happens, we need to celebrate those, those accomplishments. So that's number one, is stop making it that it's really kind of cool to watch TUSD fail. Cam Juarez is one of the new board members. He says even if Petticone says a new board should be able to pick a new superintendent, he was not pushing for Petticone to step aside. It wasn't something I was intending to do when I ran for this office, um, and I certainly was looking for some continuity, but I, I, was, uh, I was cognizant that, that uh, the superintendent had committed to two and a half years to, to five years. The news took parents by surprise at Ross Cruz K-8 through school. Ricardo Gomez is the PTA president there. If you were doing the hiring, what qualities would you look for in a replacement? Oh, I, I think uh, cultural diversity is a, is a huge you know, uh, factor in, in whoever's running the district. Uh, they have to be sensitive to uh, community needs as well as uh, how we're developing as a community. Now, we did find some parents who do not think very highly of Dr. Petticone. Some of that relates to the fight over Mexican-American studies. When the program came under attack by the state, Dr. Petticone felt it was best to give in their, to their demands to avoid millions of dollars in penalties that would hurt TUSD's budget even more. So the TUSD did follow state orders to dismantle that program. Craig, how much does the board think it's going to have to spend to get another quality candidate in here? Well, uh, Board President Adelita Grijalva said as a very rough estimate, she thinks about $25,000 to conduct a nationwide search, but it's important to point out that's a search for more than just a new superintendent. There is an opening for an assistant superintendent as well, so that figure covers the both. Craig Smith, thanks so much.